Whether you're trying to lose weight, tone up, or put on more muscle, almost everybody is obsessed with some kind of aesthetic goal and some physical goal. And while there isn't a problem with that and while you definitely want to have those goals if that's what you actually want, having other kinds of fitness goals can also be really useful in terms of making your whole fitness journey a lot more fun and today we're going to go over a few things a few tips that i have actually four suggestions for fitness goals that do not involve weight loss what is up people jean carlos here with the total body training podcast where i help people get lean gain muscle and build some damn confidence and today i'm going over four fitness goals that you can have that do not involve weight loss but while you're losing weight, you can do these goals and they will make your fitness journey more fun. All right. So I'm going to start off with the first one. I'm, I've written them down on my phone here. And uh, the first one is one of my favorites. And it's because it's something that I did. So it's run a 5K or run further than a 5K. So a 5K, a 10K, maybe a half marathon, maybe a marathon. There are all sorts of options. There are relay races, there are trail runs, there are all sorts of really cool runs happening right now around the world that you can get involved in. And if you've never ran a 5K, which is three miles, I strongly recommend that you sign up for one because the whole event is a lot of fun. Now, you might be thinking, but Jean, I hate cardio. I couldn't do that and I could never run a 5K. And why would I want to do that? Well, I mean, maybe just for the hell of it to see if you can do it and then train for it. Maybe start off by finding a program online. There are lots of programs online that teach you how to get ready for a 5K. I promise you that the event, that 5Ks, the events themselves are usually a lot of fun. So if you run the 5K at the Rock and Roll Marathon, when you get there, there's so much energy. There are people playing music. It's just an exciting place to be. And you will not regret that experience. And you can put it on your fitness bucket list. I know it was on mine. My personal one was running a full marathon, which I did in 2016, I believe. And I loved every minute of that. I was devastated by the end of it, but it was great. And I also ran a Spartan race. And what I believe that this does for you is it gives you this goal that doesn't just go boil down to, I need to lose another 10 pounds or I need to put, you know, do this intense workout so that I can look hotter by the summer. It makes it so that you've got this kind of like fun thing that's coming up. Now, at first it might not be fun. Getting, when I first started training, I didn't know I was going to train for a marathon, although it was in the back of my head, if I had to be completely honest. You know, it sucked running, getting up, doing those runs and everything like that was not easy, but I learned to like it. And so you might find that you love running or you like some kind of other physical activity that's cardiovascular. So sign up for a 5K or something that's longer and add that to your fitness goals. Another one, let's go ahead and take a look. Another goal that I think is a really good one that doesn't involve weight loss, but will help you along is trying to train, number two, trying to train in a different training modality. So what do I mean by that? If you are doing general bodybuilding workouts, right? If that's what you've been doing, go try something out that is different. So if you have maybe always wanted to try something more cardiovascular, like cycling on the weekends at a park, Go try it out. Go purchase a bike or rent a bike or, or take a cycling class. Or maybe you are a person who runs all the time. Okay, you're on the flip side of it. So you're a cardio junkie. Maybe try CrossFit and see how that goes for you. See if you like it. Try something that's different. And I strongly recommend that you try it for a little while. My personal biggest recommendation, oh, for a, by a little while, I mean at least two to three months, if not longer, to see if you actually like something. Sometimes when you try something out in the beginning, you're not 100% sure. And so, you know, usually there's this trial era, or this, this amount of time that it takes for you to figure out whether or not you like it. If you want to try something different and you want to come to Total Body Training here, you can totally work out with us. We do bodybuilding style workouts along with HIT training. Hit the link in the description section of this video. You can come and try out a free class with us. This would be something different if you're somebody who does CrossFit or bodybuilding or if you do powerlifting or maybe if you do you know, yoga, this would be a different training modality. So maybe try us out. If you're doing what we do here, the thing that I always say that would be the best for most people to do outside of total body training or outside of strength training and conditioning is yoga. Go find a yoga class, maybe, 
you know, if you are a beginner, go find a beginner yoga class. If you know that you need more stress relief, uh, maybe find a class that focuses more on meditation. There are lots of yoga classes that are kundalini based. I'm not skilled in kundalini, but from what I remember, kundalini is a little bit more about meditation. And the classes, classes when you attend them, have descriptions. So you can find classes at local studios that will tell you what you're getting into. Or if you're like me and you want something that's crazy, you can go to a class where they teach you forearm stands, handstands, all that fun stuff. Find a vinyasa class, find something that's intermediate or advanced, and you will get your ass kicked and you'll be learning something new. So that's my second one on the list, is try training in a different you know, style of workout or training modality. The next one is strength training PRs. All right, this one's a fun one. It's a personal favorite of mine. I like to every now and then test my one rep max. I am not a power lifter, I've never competed, although for a while I was training as if I was going to compete. So I was doing lower volume work and I was doing, doing a lot of singles and things like that, peaking and, and things like that frequently. So I really, for a long time, enjoyed figuring out what's the most weight that I can deadlift? What's the most weight that I can squat? What's the most weight that I can bench? Maybe for you, it would be helpful to have some kind of number in mind. So what you can do is, if you like squatting, go to the gym and squat one time with a weight that's suitable for you and then try a few more uh, heavier weights and figure out what the most weight you can do for one repetition of the squat is, right? And then you can log that down and be like, okay, it looks like I squatted 200 pounds. So, you know, in a couple months, I wanna see if I can squat 250 or maybe in a year I wanna squat 250. Whatever the case might be, and then build up to that. So focus on getting stronger, keeping in mind that in a year you want to try to earn a couple months, you want to try to hit 250. It's a really great goal. Now, I'm not giving you a plan for how to do that. You can hop online. Renaissance Periodization has programs that can help you with peaking blocks for strength training. If you need hands-on stuff with a trainer, you can come in here and I can teach you how to build appropriately or how to find out your one rep maxes. It's a lot of fun setting PRs. I mean, you will be so stoked. When I do that with clients here, they have a great time and they put it up on Instagram and it's just cool seeing your progress. It's cool to find out that you are capable of doing really great strengths of feet or feats of strength that you didn't know you could do. And you will feel like a boss if you hit your goal of a heavier squat or a heavier deadlift, whatever the case might be. So, you know, if you're inclined to it, maybe give it a shot, figure it out. All right, the next one that I'm going to suggest, and this is the last one, which is kind of similar to learning a one rep max or improving your PRs. I guess this would be a personal record in a way. It's learning a cool move. And I like this suggestion. Uh, Meg Squats made this on her channel. Thank you, Meg. And it's actually something that I do anyways, which is picking out a move like, uh, say, a Turkish getup or a handstand or a forearm stand or a headstand or walking on your hands or balancing on one hand against the wall. Pick out something that you've always wanted to do that looks really hard and then start training for it. So maybe get into a handstands workshop class. There are lots of them around my town. I'm sure you can Google that and see if there's anybody who offers that in your town. You know, find someone, you know, who can teach you how to do that thing that you've always wanted to do and then try to do it until you do it and then try to do it until you can do it consistently. Learning a cool move will make your strength training, your conditioning, whatever you're doing, your whole fitness journey a lot more fun because you've got this cool thing that you can now do. And for me, that's always been the funnest part. It hasn't been the looking sexier part, which there's nothing wrong with and it's something that I definitely work for and I help people with. But for me, it's always been trying to learn something that I didn't know that I could do with my body, right? And then pushing the envelope with that. If you told me when I was in college that I would be able to stand on my hands and walk on them, I'd be like, get the fuck out of town. Are you kidding me? And I think that that's really cool to think back that now that I'm in my 30s, I can do things that I couldn't do when I was younger. It does not matter how old you are. Like, you can always do something new with your body. You know, uh, if you apply yourself and really try to find something that you would like to do and that's reasonable and then build up to it with small little goals. All right, people, those are just four things that you can do to make 
four goals that you can have, fitness goals that you can have that do not involve weight loss. But along your weight loss journey, they will make your progress or your experience a lot more fun because you'll have these fun things that have nothing to do with it and you're gonna feel the sense of satisfaction from accomplishing those along with your weight loss goals. All right, people, thank you for tuning in. If you would like to come work out with us at Total Body Training, I can help you with some of these things. I can help you have experience with running 5Ks, marathons, things like that. I can give you suggestions, although I'm not a running coach, I can send you in the right direction. Or if you want to just work out with us at Total Body Training, 100% for free. You can try us out for one class, 100% for free. Please click the link in the description to this video to come try us out. All right, until next time, peace. So I went from a size 16 to a size 6, 7, and I've lost currently about 60 pounds with TBT. I've lost 60 pounds since I started here, and the body fat that I've lost is 16.2%. I've definitely noticed a lot in like those hard to reach areas, the muffin top, the back fat. It's really slipped down for me. The weightlifting, it's definitely kept me toned, and it's definitely kept me confident to where I can you know, show my legs because I have great quads, you know, with TBT or my arms because I, I can pull myself up or lift. Total Body Training um, offers a uh, one-time uh, free tra training session. So you come in, you get a great workout, and you can decide if you want to join. And definitely you're going to want to join because you won't regret the free workout.